morning so it is friday morning and this is our last full day in the cottage so we're having a very chilled out relaxing day um i'm not entirely sure what time it is but i'm guessing it's about half past 10 11 o'clock in the morning and we've just all got up and got dressed i'm wearing my favorite bunny in a crown t-shirt and i'm going very minimal makeup today apparently just because i really can't be bothered to put any more makeup than this on so People are just going to have to live with it. Um, we are heading today just for a very, very quick trip into a town called Sedberg, which is apparently the book town of England because it's got lots of kooky little bookshops and um, little knick-knacky shops and stuff. So we're going to head over there and have a quick look around, maybe pick up a few bits and pieces if we see anything we like. And then we're going to come back and have a very chilled out afternoon and evening with the fire on um, I'm going to probably do some blogging the kids will probably play some games and watch some films and we're just going to have a really nice relaxing day make the most of the cottage before we've got to get up in the morning get packed up and leave so yeah so that's the plan for today hopefully very calm and easy day In the cottage this afternoon um this morning we took a short drive about 20 minutes over to a town called Sedberg Sedbur. it was a beautiful it was kind of on the edge of the Yorkshire Dale so a little bit in the opposite direction to where we've been going so far um and yeah it was it reminded me of something out of Postman Pat it was lots of um, country walls and beautiful hillside views and it was like driving into a postcard. I absolutely loved it and just the drive itself was a bit of a treat without even getting there. Once we arrived we parked up and had a walk around some of the shops. There were some great charity shop kind of secondhand bookshops. Um, Miss Mess picked up a book. Minnie Mess got a puzzle which she's had great fun doing. I didn't get anything, I don't think. There was a sweet shop where the girls got some sweeties, which are currently in this bowl here. And um, I, we then nipped to a tea shop called the Mad Hatter's Tea Room, I think it was. It was upstairs in a gift shop and it was really cutesy and everything was decorated like Alice in Wonderland and they got playing cards and Mad Hatter's hats and tea sets and it was so cute. It was just my kind of place. And um, yeah, we had, me and Mr. Mess shared a big kind of almost like plowman style platter because we just agreed that we'd had enough of afternoon tea for the week having had two already. This afternoon we're back here again for the last time. I'm gonna spend the evening packing up getting everything ready to go home and I thought now might be a good time to take you on a tour of the cottage. So in we go. So here we have the entrance hall and much to um, Minnie Messer's delight, the house is upside down. So downstairs we have the bedrooms and the bathroom, upstairs we have the living rooms and the kitchen, etc. So it's a pretty run-of-the-mill standard bathroom. Um, 
the bath is lovely and deep but very short and the shower is not the best but it does the job. What more can you ever ask for? Coming through the first door we have the master bedroom with a very comfy double bed. This is my side. does have a closet where our clothes are hanging and a little dressing area for me with another mirror where I've been doing my makeup and hair for the past week. Final room downstairs. I love all these little cutesy touches. That's what I love about this place. This is the twin bedroom, which, as you can see, the girls have made themselves at home with their toys and teddies and everything else. Complete with wardrobe and little desk sitting area. So this is the living room stroke open plan living area where we've been spending most of our days. Um, the kitchen is just behind there and I will show you that in a minute. This is the dining room table stroke mummy's workspace where I've been spending quite a lot of time. Um, this is my window with the view, can you see that, yeah. That's my view that I've been enjoying every day. And if I come around here, there's our fireplace, because we all love an open fire. I don't think I might be a pyromaniac, but never mind. So just around this little partition wall, we have the kitchen, kitchenette thing. Um, as you can see, all of our lovely food supplies. My favourite feature of this kitchen is this. We have a dishwasher, which I have been getting a lot of use out of, purely from Novelty Value, because I don't have one at home. It's pretty small, but it has everything you could need 